Hello and welcome to Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town Carolinas. I'm your host, Patty Mercer, here in the Fort Mill School District with Joe Burke. Who happens to be who? The Chief Communications Officer for the Fort Mill School District. And new this year. Yes, I am. Just uh, joined in last month. Well, we're so happy that you're here. Um, lots of growth, lots of changes happening in the Fort Mill School District. What is going on? Well, honestly and truthfully, this is one of the highest growth areas per capita in the state, if not the highest. So Fort Mill is becoming a very, very popular place, has been over the last few years. And uh, as a result of that, we're seeing the growth in the school district. Now, some of that growth means schools are actually maxed out. For example, Gold Hill Elementary mm -hmm. has an enrollment freeze. What does that mean? Well, basically that means that at, at, on August the 2nd, we put a freeze on enrollment for new students into the first grade. And new, that means students who were not with us last year, were either moving or coming into the district. Um, those students are now going to attend Tega K Elementary. And it, basically this is an effort to keep class sizes to a manageable level. Um, and also deal with what we have inside of the school as far as teacher ratios and, and classroom views. When you mention teacher-student ratio, mm -hmm. what is it in the Fort Mill School District? Well, it, it depends on the grade level, but mm -hmm. in the kindergarten areas, we like to keep it anywhere from 19 to 21 so that uh, our, our teachers are able to really pay attention to all of the kids in the class and provide a great educational experience for them. Now, as it relates to the schools, some schools are newer, some are older, some seem to have fewer students, some have more. Why is that? Well, it all depends on where the growth in the area comes, and that can happen in many ways. We have seen multiple housing developments that go up, we see apartment developments that go up, and older homes that get sold uh, and, and repurposed by new families. So, you know, that's just kind of a trend that happens depending on where the development is going on. So you may have a school that may drop a few here, but we have another school that may go up by 100 or something students for the, the current year. So we don't see very many drops, to be honest with you, uh, because we're growing. We, we've added a lot of students this year. We're over 800 new students as of uh, today so it's a big big change school is back in session yes um, what other changes have been made to what um, what we can expect in this new school year well uh, as always the the school district has a commitment to education this is one of the premier districts in the state and part of that is we've now also implemented steam science technology engineering arts and mathematics programs at all schools in the district. And we are the only one in the state to do it at all schools and only one of three districts in the nation to do it. So it's a huge initiative. And there's some corporate partnerships that help make this possible. Who are they? Yeah, we are partnering with Discovery Education and that's the same Discovery as the Discovery Channel you see on at your home. Um, it's a huge resource for our teachers. They're able to network nation and worldwide with other teachers as part of that, plus get resources, access to things, everything that Discovery can provide. Yeah, and, and Boeing. Yeah. Yes, uh, Boeing came in uh, and visited us at our FM21 conference. Uh, they came in as part of the Dream Learners uh, program that they have. They came in and talked to us about future jobs in the aeronautics industry and how students not necessarily have to have the traditional college um, background to get these jobs uh, and how their company comes in and, and works with students to pay for their college in the future. As it relates to Boeing and FM21, what is that? Uh, FM21 stands for Fort Mill Schools for the 21st Century. So that um, was actually the name of the initiative? Yes, that and that is the initiative that the district has had over several years now mm -hmm. um, but this year it had the new focus of the steam portion since we're moving into that initiative that whole thing is to get our teachers prepared and help them understand and get trained for then to turn around and prepare our students for the jobs yes. of the 21st century. What advice do you have for parents in terms of working with teachers to make it a successful school year? Well, we always want our parents to be involved with our teachers. You know, you want to go in through your parent portal, keep up on what's going on in your classroom, contact your teachers. The main thing I would say right now at this particular time with the beginning of school year is just be patient too. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, traffic's will, the traffic will slow down a little bit once everybody gets in their routines. Uh, the, the school, you'll have a lot more contact in in easier contact than the schools once everybody kind of settles in. First day of school, especially in the elementary levels, a lot of parents want to walk their students oh, in. Yes. That slows the process down. Um, but overall, Take just, pictures. yeah, they want to get their pictures of that first day. <laughs> I did that too. I'm a, I'm a new kindergarten a parent day. too. 
um, yeah, it is a huge day. So just have a little bit of patience, but you know, we want that involvement from our parents. We want you to be on the school campus, to be involved with your school, with your teacher and, and the different programs. And you may be surprised what you, uh, what your commute looked like last year may be different because we have some new schools. We do. Uh, this year we opened our 16th school at it's Pleasant Knoll Middle School. Um, the school is beautiful. They're in the process of finishing up a few little minor things, but the school opened without really any major issues. The students, I was actually there yesterday. The students are enjoying it. Uh, we did see a little bit of change in traffic patterns, but again, nothing that was too major. Um, nothing that really uh, was out of the ordinary and for mm -hmm. a first day. You are a full-time employee with mm -hmm. the Fort Mill School District, and as well as you have two this year. Uh, Jenny Overman is also? There's two total of us, yeah. Two myself total. and Jenny Overman, gotcha. who used to do part-time work with the district in the communications department. She's now on full-time as well, too. Wow. Because with the growth, we need as many pans on deck as we can to communicate to our parents all the important information. What is the preferred route? Well, the obviously the biggest immediate resource to our parents is our website, and yes. that's the fortmillschools.org. Mm -hmm. um, but we also are trying to get information out to our parents through social media. We get out through Facebook, Twitter. We've started Instagram this year. Um, and then we also have direct communication with our parents to start school the school year off. I sent out an email to them that had lots of, of important information to them about how to find things with quick links and things like that. And our superintendent, Dr. Epps, sent them out a welcome message and kind of gave them some information on the STEAM portion. So we're trying to hit every avenue possible to talk to our, to our community. If you have a question about your particular school, um, you, you would go to your principal first. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, that is the boss of yeah. that school. Yep. And the information that they have comes from the Fort Mill School District. Yeah, we always want to encourage our, our parents to go to the school first. If they have questions, go to their sites or give them a call. Um, if they have any issues or cannot seem to, to get the answers they're looking for, they're welcome to contact the district office or check our websites too. But our schools do a phenomenal job of having everything ready for our parents if anytime they have an issue or, or need to find out information. And if you're just, if you just can't do anything, you don't have a computer at home or you just, all <clears> of this, uh, digital world is very intimidating. What, what are the options there? Uh, everything that we do, we still have paper form as well too. So you can stop by your school and pick up in, uh, information or paper forms of copies that you need. But picking up the phone and giving us a call is, is always is always welcome. We, we love to talk to our parents. If you have questions, if we can help you in any way, please feel free to contact Fantastic. us. Fantastic. Well, that's it for this edition of Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town Carolinas. For more information or if you're interested in looking at some beautiful homes in the Carolina, simply go to homesfortmill.com. And when it comes to school, Fort Mill School District, we're proud of you. Until next time, this is Patty Mercer. Bye-bye.